okay, in this example here, we have a mechanical engineer who has had a completed board outline along with the proposed components uh, in which they'd like to have them laid out. The nice feature about ACE is you don't need to have to worry about, or as far as mechanical engineers, not to worry about generating an IDF file or some other kind of strange format that's required uh, by his electrical engineer. All you simply do is save this out as a step file and then use ACE3D to import the step file and ACE is able to be the intermediary between the 3D and the 2D world that the electronic engineer requires. So in this case, I'll have the step for the import format and for the export format, I can choose Gerber, DXF, or a whole other plethora of formats. In this case, I'll select Gerber. What I do is I select the, the PCB step file and here I pretty much leave all the settings as default. Typically for printed circuit board design, you want to have the XY plane uh, be the extracted plane. Click Next. Here's the output formats for my Gerber file. And as you see, just like that, it is, went ahead and imported the step file in. And let's just turn the fill off for a second so you can kind of see. You can see the outlines there along with all the components and everything else that's required. So at this point, all I simply need to do with ACE is go ahead and select the folder I like to save these Gerber files in. And that's it. Now with these Gerber files, every printed circuit board tool in the world pretty much has the ability to import these Gerber files. And if not, ACE can also export out to DXF. As you'll see here, I started up just a typical printed circuit board layout tool. This particular one's called Dip Trace. But again, they're all uh, very similar. You just go File, and you import as Gerber. Select your Gerber files that you wish to import. Press open and essentially now you've got the Gerber files into your PCB package. Thank you very much.